two sets of players walk out onto the field side by side. West Ham in their usual claret. And of course, City are in change colours today of white socks and uh, white shirts. And they line up in front of the main stand at the Chigwell Construction Stadium, home of Dagenham and Breadbridge, and of course home of the West Ham women's team. City surge forward from the left side of the pitch. It's a long diagonal ball which does indeed reach Chloe Kelly. Good crossing position for Kelly. It's palmed away by Arnold. City keep it alive on the edge of the area. It's good goalkeeping from the West Ham number one. And it goes to Uabi and wide to Fowler. Fowler in the penalty area, a couple of step overs, tried to find a pass, I think, towards Rord, who'd made the burst forward. It's still alive on the edge of the area. Back it goes to Fowler. Fowler with the cross, which is blocked. Greenwood now latches onto it, clips a ball to the far stick where Hemp tried to win it. It's kept alive well. City with a little bit of a scramble in the penalty area, but West Ham managed to hack it away, and all of a sudden, out of nothing, they're on the counter-attack. Horton and Mary Fowler all on target. At the moment, the Blues are under a bit of pressure, and out comes Kiara Keating, and she gets there in the nick of time in front of Rico Uecki, the new West Ham centre-forward. She's done more than consolidate, really. But the Blues have won the ball back high up the pitch and a real chance, and they've clipped it over the bar. Best chance of the match, it fell to Jill Rord. West Ham were playing out from the back, they were a bit too casual, and Jill Rord pounced upon it. Sigawa finds Castellanos, and on it goes to Chloe Kelly, trying to get the better of Kirsty Smith down the right-hand side. Getting into the final third easily enough, can she get a cross in? The answer's yes, it's just above Hemp, met by Fowler on the volley and just over the bar and into the City fans behind the goal. Overload down that right-hand side. Hasegawa plays a lovely ball to Fowler. Fowler in the penalty area. Turns away from trouble, whips in across. Hemp heads it across the face of the goal. West Ham get it away. Uabi picks it up. Just uh, 30 metres from goal, lays it out wide to Hemp. Hemp with a couple of step-overs, trying to get down to the byline like all good wingers should. Can't find the cross, but instead finds Uabi. Wabi helps it into the gap for Kennedy. Kennedy onto Rort and then wide to Alexandri. And Fowler tries to get to it, might break for Fowler, but West Ham get it away in the nick of time. Not away yet, though. Wabi hits a shot on target, but Arnold puts her body in the way of it and fields it very much like a cricketer on the boundary. In the possession of Uweki. It's a long ball out to the left-hand side, and West Ham have plenty forward in this attack. And out comes Keating to gather the cross. Good goalkeeping by Kiara Keating. Nasigawa still in and around the penalty area, the Blues. Helped on by Castellanos, and still with Castellanos in the penalty area. On it goes to Hemp. Hemp's right foot shot, bent wide. Another good chance for the Blues, but it was on to Hemp's left foot, and in order to get a shot away she knew she had to push it to her right foot which she did but then the bending shot with that right foot she set it off wide of the post but didn't have enough whip and bend to go inside and then It'll be an even more pleasant afternoon will be if City can pick up the three points they've certainly deserved to be in front it hasn't quite happened for them and already the wacky's through here for West Ham straight from the centre and wow it's a, a mishit shot really didn't get any power in it and Keating made a fairly routine save to her left to keep it at nil nil but Alexandri it's good play from Alexandri onto the edge of the area Hemp with a bending shot and City score at last lovely finish from Lauren Hemp just on the edge of the West Ham penalty area she opened it out to her left foot and bent it round the goalkeeper into the corner and City's dominance in the first half yields a goal early in the second. Hopping up with the opening goal and City coming forward again with Kelly. Kelly to the edge of the penalty area. That's a handball, isn't it? The referee agrees with me and City have a penalty. Chloe Kelly just walks a few paces backwards, ready to strike the penalty. A little puff of the cheek, she steps forward. 
it's a magnificent save. An absolutely sensational save by Mackenzie Arnold, diving away to a right-hand side. It was right in the corner, but she guessed correctly and pushed it out for the corner kick. Two arms above her head, signalling where she's going to put the ball. It's deep to the far. City tried to win it, but uh, the side foot, I think it was from Greenwood, goes straight into the possession of Arnold. Can they get the second goal that would surely end West Ham's hopes today? Lovely play into the area goes Rod, and Rod does make it 2 0. The ball came towards her. She let the pace of the ball do a work for her. Got beyond the last defender into the penalty area and just guided it beyond Arnold from about eight or nine metres from goal. And at last, City do make it 2-0. And Jill Rhodes' incredibly impressive debut has now got a goal to it. Kennedy advancing to the halfway line, slips it on to Alexandri and Rhodes and Kelly. Kelly tries to get to the byline, the cross is a good one. Cleared by Sissoko, Rhodes wins the header, on it goes to Fowler, Fowler hits it on target. But... Arnold is there to flop onto the ball, diving away to a right-hand side. And in possession, though. So they try to win it back, and they do through Huabi, but she lost it in the challenge, and then did she clip? Down in a heap is Emma Harris at the moment. The West Ham substitute's not been on long. Oh, red card! Red card for Huabi! Denton goes backwards. Here's Cook. Cook, I think that was a shot. And it drifts wide of the post. Goes to Shimizu. Shimizu on to Asei, who hits the shot. And it's among the City fans behind the goal. Still have the ball in and around the middle third. Playing it round delightfully. And then they've won a throw, I think. And the whistle sounds. Job well done. Gareth Taylor's season begins very differently to last. The Blues began last campaign with two defeats away from home. But this season on day one, they've gone away to West Ham and with a thoroughly professional performance have emerged with all three points.